Good morning from my kitchen. It's full of bottling equipment and bottles. Getting ready to bottle a couple cases of wine, this Petite Syrah here. And also I'm going to bottle up some of my Russian Imperial Stout, which is currently on tap. I'm going to bottle about half of that keg. Um, just because having a full five gallon keg of a 10% beer is not always a good thing. Um, anyhow, I suspect my back's going to hurt when all this is said and done. There's my corker. Got a few bottles that still need their labels removed, soaking. And just started sanitizing the wine bottles. If you don't have one of these on your bottle tree, you need one. They are very useful. I'll show you how it works. This is sanitizer in the little basin there, and you just push it down and it shoots a jet of sanitizer right up into the bottle. Very handy. If you don't know about these, go ahead and get one. Before I add the wine to the second carboy, which I'll be bottling from, uh, I'm going to add some Camden tablets, three of them here. And what that's going to do is just help prevent oxidation in the wine while it's aging. So I'll just crush those up and add them to the carboy and then rack the wine right up on top of it. And there it goes. There's the Petite Syrah. I just took a little sample. Nice and clear. Got good legs, and it tastes uh, pretty fruity. And there's even a little bit of spice in there already, so I imagine it'll get a little bit more with age. You might be wondering why I'm bottling from a carboy with my auto siphon like this. I do have a bottling bucket, however, I'm bottling by myself today um, without any help, and I actually find that it's easier to be able to move this around. Um, and push down into the bottle to fill than it is to keep lifting up on the bottles against something um, to fill them up. So just a little bit less fatigue in my experience. I don't know, you might feel differently, but uh, it's just how I like to do it. Alright, got all the wine in the bottles. Now it's time to cork them. And uh, I have an Italian floor corker never seen one work. You just put the wine in underneath the mechanism here. Drop the cork in and lower the lever. It squishes the cork and then this little doohick here pushes the cork down into the bottle. Hard to do while holding a camera. There you go, corked. You leave them sitting upright for a couple days and then you turn them on their side. Have all the Imperial Stouts bottled now, all the wines corked. Of course I had to pour myself a little bit of the Stout. And I am quite pleased with it. It's very roasty, very robust, and um, it's a little bit of special bee in there which gives it that dark fruit taste that I really love in an imperial stout.